Separation from main transport complete. Group A delivered to Calistian region. All pioneers functional, initiating dispersion. Attention pioneer, I am Ada, your personal instance of the artificial directory and assistant. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fixit selected planets are rich with resources suitable for direct use or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting on pioneers like you. Fix it. Short-term solutions to long-term problems. Initiating planet fall. Atmospheric entry in 3, 2, 1. Beginning arrow assist. Drag within acceptable parameters. Complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Omni situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer. Acceptable. Congratulations. You are the third in your region to survive planet fall. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. First contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to Fixit procedure and equip the Fixit Inc. Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Hey troops, Roxy here and welcome to Roxy Plays Games and welcome to a brand new game on the channel, Satisfactory 1.0. Wow, I played this quite a while ago, probably close to two years ago maybe, at least a year and a half ago. Um, and I think it was like update, I can't remember, update 4, update 5, whatever it was. But it's come a long way. It's been improved. Things have been added. The graphics um, are a lot, lot better than they was, um, and the gameplay in turn is a lot, lot better. But before I get to today's video, I want to do my usual thank yous. So thank you for everyone who has liked my previous videos, and thank you for everyone who has subscribed to the channel. On my way down to the planet, all of my recent subscribers were scrolling along the bottom of the channel. So thank you for each and every person who has sub who has liked and subscribed. So satisfactory for anyone that has never played this and never seen it. Uh, satisfactory is a first person open world factory building game with a dash, yes a little dash, of exploration and combat. Um, it is single player or multiplayer, you can play with friends, I think you can have up to four of you playing at one time. Um, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, excuse me. I had a little bit of a yawn pop up my head then. Right. So, we're on this planet. The, the long-term kind of goal, if you want to call it that, of the game, uh, to, to beat the game, I guess, if you want to call it that, is you need to send um, parts up into space so that they can go back to the homeland planet 
Um, and we start off with pretty much nothing. We've got this gun, which I'm going to put into my hand. Next objective, dismantle the drop pod. Fix it incorporate it as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. Uh, yeah, so we start with this little zapper that we've got and the ability to um oh press f i'm, I'm looking like was my um dismantler gun and the ability to dismantle and build stuff next objective use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub if you cannot find iron be assured scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources Right, press V. Oh. And we've got iron over that direction. And we've got a ton of it behind us. Right, so it's telling us that we need to go and um, gather some iron. But what I can tell you, for those of you that don't already know, is we will need to gather bunch of leaves and wood to burn in our generators to provide us with power. Um, oh, pale berry, I'll take that. Potential edible collected. If consumed before authorized is compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store this potential resource for later use. All right, I'm storing for later use. Right, so the way we go around and gather stuff is pressing the E button. But for anyone that doesn't know, you can hold the E button down, and then as you run it forward, it will gather the materials. But there's an even easier way for those that you don't know. If you discover that, if you press E. Uh, holding the E button down, press the tab button to open up your inventory and then close it down. You can actually let go of the E button and just run around gathering stuff. Now, if you want to gather, let's say I wanted to pick up these nuts, you do have to let go. Potential edible collected. Eating it and surviving does not count as a valid field test and does not generate enough data for fix it to make an informed decision. Store this potential resource for later use. Yeah, you do have to let go of the E button and then start the whole process again. So press E, tab, tab, and then you can run forward and gather. So depending on what you're gathering, wood and leaves will all gather together. But if you want to gather berries or nuts, then you will need to press the E button again. Um, but yeah, we're going to need a lot, and I mean a metric shit ton lot of um, leaves and wood in the initial start of the game until we get to a sufficient fuel source uh, later on in the game. Don't worry about these big giant tick things, they're, they're, they're harmless. Uh, even if you attack them, you don't do nothing. I have got the settings in the game, because you can change that in the game, so that hostiles will not attack me unless I attack them. Just because of, I just don't want the hassle of getting randomly attacked um, in this season anyway. Uh, if we do another season, I might do like a modded season or something, I don't know. Um, or starting in a different area. Then I'll uh, I'll change that so they they are hostile. Right, I'm just going to run around. I'm going to do some gathering because this is quite boring and definitely boring to watch. Um, and I'm going to find a place to initially build our base. Um, I'm going to look for iron, and I'm going to see if I can find some. Uh, limestone and copper as well. Uh, we can't scan for them, but I know what they look. Oh, Caterium. Didn't know we had this here. 
Unknown metal collected. This metallic element is showing properties similar to those in group 11 on the periodic table, such as high conductivity and malleability. Store this potential resource for later use. Oh, I will. Don't you worry. In fact, I'm not going to gather it all. Well, actually, yes, I will gather it all, because it's just like, it's not a node, it's just like a, a lump. You get some of them that's like a, an actual node that you can stick miners on, but that's just a lump. Anyway, oh, right, there's, there we go, there's limestone, that's what I was kind of thinking about. Um, so we've got our limestone, uh, oh, the bin mineral outside. Um, and I think that's the iron there. So I'll have a quick look around for some copper, and I'll be right back. Right, I have opted to go here, just up there where my little pointer is, is some copper. And then we've got a couple of nodes of iron, or three nodes of iron here. And then we've got the limestone over there. And that's just kind of three initial uh, resources that we, we require for our base. And these are little hostile things I was on about. Um, I'm not sure what they're called, hogs or something like that. Quite ugly, aggressive armoured looking things uh, if you look at the teeth on them if you don't change the settings these will attack you uh, initially uh, when you come near them like I said I've got it set so that they will retaliate and I think there's another setting where they don't even retaliate but we're going to give them some savages they are actually are quite easy to, to dodge because they'll, they'll run at you and all you need to do is to jump up in the air and then uh, safe they drop these hog remains. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it is proficient at inflicting and receiving blunt force trauma. Preserve the remains for later study. Lovely, lovely. Right, so, what do we need to do? We need to basically build a factory or many factories dotted around in different places doing different things. Um, but the first thing that we need to do is we need to gather iron, we need to start setting up our basic base and expand from there. And I think this will be a good, I mean it's fairly flat here. Um, I'm gonna build a multi-story uh, factory so it won't be just like on the ground um, and eventually we'll be able to put down foundations to build everything on initially it's going to be messy right I will tell you that initially it's going to be messy however later on we will uh, attempt to make it a really really nice looking base um, so let's gather you've got these lumps on the top oh. next objective use the build gun to construct the hub Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of funny little sarcastic comments in this game, I do like it. Um, so we can put portable miners around on the iron. However, when we later on unlock big uh, miners, we need to place them over this area and we can't place them on top of this so we can gather this chunk of uh, iron here we'll gather all three of these because we will need a lot of iron i'll tell you that much now we are going to need a lot of it we can do the same again we can um press e hold down t or hold e oh no okay maybe not i thought you could Oh yeah, I, I just pressed E once and it's mining. Does that do it for this as well? Yes it does. Okay, so I'm not holding any buttons. I just pressed E and it's mining away. So you could actually go and make yourself a cup of tea, come back and you've got a load of iron. That's actually brilliant. I think that must, have, that must be new. I just want to try something here. This is just me experimenting. Let me just go and gather a bush and then come back. Nope, it's the same. Okay. Oh, that, I don't remember it doing that before. I'm sure you had to hold the E button down to um, to mine. That's fantastic. Right, anyway. We've got a bunch of iron. Now, the question is, where do I want to have my base? We're going to have... Eventually, we're going to have some miners on here. We're going to have a miner on the limestone there. 
miner up on the uh, what's it called copper up there we've got an annoying rock here which we can't get rid of unfortunately uh, we've got some poison gas there the green muskiness around it will kind of give that away um, oh we've got a slug there we'll go and gather that later uh, that flying giant manta ray thing, whatever it is, is harmless. If you can even get to it, that is. I'm kind of thinking that we'll have... If we have our base kind of in this area here... I want to give myself enough space. Uh, I might actually build it around about here. I'll build my base here, initial, initial base here. Uh, the hub as it's called um, and then later on we all kind of have a nice plateau of um, foundations and then it'll be multi-story and we might even involve this rock here it's a bit of a feature we'll see but yeah we're, we're gonna go down here I can't at the moment get rid of this tree but later on we'll be able to uh, so let's go for let's build it here uh, so we need Q, and then we're going to build the hub. What you can do as well, if you, because you might find this a little bit awkward, uh, you've got uh, lock horror, lock hologram. That's a mouthful. Uh, press H. You press H, and then it means that it's locked in place, and you can move around to see whether it's where you want it. And if it is. Build away. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. Right, so this is the terminal where we upgrade. And if you have a look at it in a moment, it hasn't really got much to it. We come to here. Uh, tier 0 hub upgrade 1 and once we upgrade it it's going to give us an equipment workbench portable miner and an extra hand slot uh, or equipment slot and that's going to require uh, 10 iron rods so we'll select that we need 10 iron rods and to make the iron rods we need to come to the crafting bench and we can see here we got we can make iron ingots, iron plates and iron rods. To make the iron rods, we need iron ingots. So I'm going to press the spacebar and that will craft these. I'm going to craft all of this and then once it's done, I'll be back. And they are done. So let me make some iron rods. We need to make 10. Um, I'm just going to make around about 30. Because I will need more later on. In fact, I'll need more than 30. I'm going to need hundreds, if not thousands, of them. But we'll make 30 of them. And then we come to here. Now, if you have a look, this is how it looks at the moment. We click on here. We we can either drag and drop it across, or you can just double click. We upgrade hub. Hub and upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the Fix-It mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 2. There we go, so we've got this frame, we've got this storage. I just plonked in uh, uh, these nuts and the um, hog remains. I'm going to keep the pale berry because we can use that to heal ourselves but also there's a dog <coughs> excuse me called doggo uh, we can rename it um, if i find it i will uh, use the, be the berry to capture it or to tame it uh, anyway upgrade two requires 20 rods oh that's f funny how i made 30 convenient yeah <laughs> Uh, but we also need templates So we're going to come back to here. We're going to make ten plates Four six eight ten Wonderful and then we're going to 
put them and them in there and upgrade. Hub upgrade two, power and shell completed. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. Fun fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 3. Wow, right, so this is the, excuse me, the biomass burner. So what we basically do with this is we plonk in our leaves or our wood. The leaves um, require 800, oh, 880 per minute. The wood, however, requires only 12 a minute. And then later on, we can condense these into um, biomass fuel, which uh, requires even less. Uh, but for now, we will use the uh, leaves. Uh, and we just need to turn it on, but we've got nothing connected at the moment, so there's no requirement to turn anything or switch anything on. We need upgrade 3 now. And this requires uh, plates, rods, and now we need copper wire. So we need to find the copper and, um, well, we know where the copper, well, I know where the copper is. Copper is just up here, uh, but we need to put some miners down. So now we can make portable miners, but to make the portable miner, I need to put down the equipment workbench. Uh, where are we going to put that? What about here? Will it fit here? Oh, I'm missing items. Uh, what do we need? We need six and four. Six plates. And four rods. Now we can build that. And I'm thinking, I'm going to place it around about here. Uh, we don't need our torch on, do we? Um, what is the button for torch? B. There we go. Let's turn that off. Right. This is where we make portable miners. And this is going to re require two plates and four rods. Uh, let's make uh, one, two, three. So that that will make two. Okay, right. Can make three of them. There we go, and if we go to our inventory, they're just here, but now we've got this second slot, we can drop them in there. Okay, right, it's getting dark already. Right, so, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to place these three miners, you can place them pretty much, almost anywhere really. All you need to do is use the mouse wheel to change weapons, or change hand slots, and then wherever it's hovering, that's a normal node. What we've got here. Are these all normal? That's a normal one. Where's the third one? This way. Right there. I thought there was three. Oh, th yeah, it's there. Right, that's normal. That one over there is normal. And the oh, oh, three are normal. That's good. Right, we can just plunk these down like that. I love the animations in this game, it's really good. And they will start mining for us. We can press E and we can grab all. And we can see it's just there. But what I'm going to do is press E.
turn the volume down slightly so you can hear me speaking. Uh, I'm going to go make a cup of tea. Uh, let me gather some um, ore and then I'll be right back where we'll crack on with the next stage. Righty, I, I'm back and I've run out of space. Um, I am full of iron. It uh, wasn't intentional. Th these are stopped as well because these are all full. Uh, they only hold 100 each at the moment. Well, they'll always only hold 100. Yeah, I made a drink, uh, sorted some bits and pieces out, put some washing in uh, the washing machine. Um, and everything was full. So, um, what is it we needed to do? We need 20 plates, 20 iron rods. So, let's make them. Uh, first thing we need to do is we need to turn all of this ingots, uh, sorry, all of this ore into ingots. So I'll be back once that's done. Righty, so what I've done is I've dumped a load of ore in here for now. I've made myself 300 ingots, actually. I need to go and grab this from over here as well. I'm going to make some iron rods. Uh, and then we're going to uh, start on the next phase, uh, which is we need to um, put some miners up on the copper up there. I also want to stick um, some miners on the cement because we're going to need that fairly soon. Uh, so let me put, in fact I'm not going to put this anywhere just yet, uh, I want to make uh, a bunch of iron plates, a bunch of iron rods, uh, we'll make, let's see, three, six, I'm going to make six miners, and then we'll go from there, so I'll be back once that's all done. Right, so I've got a bunch of pipes made, I've got a bunch of plates made, quite a lot, should last me a short while, uh, and I've got enough for 31 portable miners, but I'm going to make six. I'm going to put three on the limestone and three on the copper. Um, that'll do me initially until we get some proper miners uh, stuck. In those locations uh, right what I want to do is let me drop you in there right so uh, let me just go and grab these the ore from these because these would have stopped by now yep thought so No point in having them there if they're not actually doing anything. Right, we've got the limestone over here. Uh, tab. Put these in my hands. One there. One there. One there. We'll grab that on the way back down. And then just up here, we have got a beastie. Wait, where have we gone? I lost track of him for a second and he got me, got a hit on me. Right, uh, yeah, we've got this lump of uh, copper here. Let me just grab this. And I need to gather some um, copper because we need that to make wire for our next upgrade. So. I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Righty, so got a whole bunch of copper. Um, 
I'm just gonna run back down, gather some more leaves because we are going to be needing them fairly soon. Once we start getting everything powered up, I need to go down that way. Oof. Right, these are still going, so let me just grab some of that. Some of that. Oh, I might be full here. Um, let me drop. Let me drop you. Yeah, that's fine. That is a fine doodle doodles. Okay, so we need to make 20 copper wire. And we need to, to do that, we need to uh, do the copper ingots. Uh, something that I discovered um, and I'm sure many other people have. You can't craft anything if you don't have any space. <laughs> so I'm going to get rid of you. Uh, and I don't need the concrete. I keep saying concrete, it's not concrete, it's limestone. I don't need the limestone right now. I'm going to save the wood for later. Um, now it's on with the copper ingots. Again, I'll be right back once I've made the comp copper ingots and 20 wire. Right. We have made a whole bunch of copper wire, so we can send all of this away now. That, that, and that. Upgrade hub. And that has Power given us... Free. Interior furnishing completed. The constructor can produce simple parts, and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make the inevitable mistake, Fix-It's dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction, in line with our zero-waste policy. We understand that Fix-It pioneers are only human, and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 4. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that's just mad. Um, this is cool. We can uh, have different a different look on certain things like that um, right and we could also have a, a color palette for building bits and pieces but I'm not going to worry about that just yet we want to get things on the dough right what's next what is next uh, right so this one gave us access to smelters power lines this one's given us access to constructors, power poles, uh, screws, uh, and this one gives us access to conveyor belts. To make the conveyor belts, we're going to need 10 concrete, and that's why I wanted the limestone. Basically, I'm not putting any machinery down just yet, because I want to get to the point where we have conveyor belts. Uh, and you'll see why when we come to do that. So I'm going to craft this and I'll be back in a few seconds. Right, that's done. Let's get uh, this sent off. Ah, cable. We need to make 20 cable. That shouldn't be an issue. No, no not at all. That's very fast. And it's using the copper wire to make the copper cable. Now we can send this away. Upgrade. Upgrade for new Hub buildings. Four. Landing platform and utilities completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 5. Right, hub upgrade 5 is next, but before we do, let me just go and get on my rock here. If I can get up. So, 
we've got three iron nodes here we've got the limestone node just there and we've got copper up there and just run a oh just there sorry there's another limestone as well so I don't know which one I'm going to use I need to just check the rarity of the limestone and obviously I want to use the better one out of the two but the plan is we can now build I say now uh, we can build uh, smelters and constructors uh, we've got our power lines and we've also now got conveyor belts so what we can do is we can right there no I need miners first Is that in the next upgrade? Ah, there we go. I need to make miners. Um, that isn't a problem. So basically what the plan is, I'm going to put a miner on each of the nodes. And then from the miner will come out a conveyor belt. And then that will then go into a constructor. And then from the constructor, we'll be able to make the various different things so what I'm going to end up having from these three is one making rods one making plates and one making uh, just the ingots to begin with in case I need something for something else uh, limestone will be making concrete and then the copper um, later on we'll be able to split it but initially we'll be making wire and then turning the wire into um, cable but we're not going to do that just yet nope we're going to wait until the next episode because that's long enough and we'll also get this slug in the next episode as well um, so yeah thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed uh, this very brief look at satisfactory if it's something you're enjoying please do hit the like button if you haven't already done so subscribe to the channel uh, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when new videos go out and you also know when I go live because yes I'm going to be doing a live giveaway where I'm going to be giving away some steam gift cards if you want to be in with a chance you've got to be subscribed and obviously no one that's happening uh, the plan will be i'm going to do two um two live streams one kind of my early time uh, daytime and then one my late time so i'll try and capture people from various places around the world so stay safe and i'll speak to you soon goodbye